people got to get a proper understanding of what a constitution is. The constitution is made by the people, not by the serving governments. So for example, this government now has pushed out a, a call for people to come forward with amendments uh, to the constitution. That's not the way it's supposed to work. Uh, it, it, it's not for the incumbent government to amend the documents, the, the fundamental document that constrains and governs and regulates its own conduct. That's mm -hmm. self-regulation. It is the people that regulate the government. It is the people that empower the government. And, and so whether it's 79, whether it's 99, they're all birds of a feather. Uh, these are uh, fraudulent instruments, uh, simply impositions on the people. They give a facade of legitimacy, uh, but the reality is that these are not uh, the handiwork of the people. And if we want, we need a constitution, and that constitution is one that will be made by the ethnic groups that were neighbors in the Nigerian space. Mm -hmm. the code by which we will agree to live side by side. This is almost 300 plus ethnic group in the country. Uh, now, apart from South Africa, because the context sometimes you might like to use all the example that all the African countries have adopted the people's constitution. Apart from South Africa, which other countries can we classify that they have adopted this constitution? Because if it is rampant all across Africa, then Nigeria in that case will not be an exception, not to follow the majority of the countries on the African continent? Uh, we as Nigerians, um, as you open, uh, we are supposed to be the, uh, I think you described it as the biggest uh, yeah, black probably. nation uh, on, on, on the continent or on the earth. Mm. Yes, uh, we're not supposed to be followers, we're supposed to be leaders. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, we've allowed uh, the South Africans uh, to, uh, to take the lead. And uh, are we going to sit back and wait for uh, other countries in Africa to follow in that direction? Uh, different countries will get there at different points, depending upon their internal circumstances. South Africa got there early because of the bloody nature of the conflict uh, that was uh, taking hold of the country uh, between the, uh, the indigenous African people and the settler community. Uh, Nigeria is heading in that same direction in my assessment. Uh, and so it is events that dictate uh, at what point people come to their senses uh, and say enough is enough. Uh, we need uh, a proper civilized arrangement to regulate our affairs. Winner takes all uh, cannot be the way forward.